here to help you. We're on our way. Why don't you call up Bubblegum Brigade? You know, everybody needs somebody. Everybody needs a friend. Ah. Everybody has a broken heart. Now, when we What's all this got to do with mending broken hearts? It's my new communication system, Auntie Doodah, for when we're out on the streets cracking crimes. Alf, this is the Bubblegum Brigade, not my only vice. Come on, children. Let's put away our new playthings, shall we? That's right, children. Children, what do you mean? Well, I'm awfully sorry, but you are my children. Unfortunately. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's get this meeting of the Bubblegum Brigade to order. I call upon the secretary to read out the first broken heart. Thank you. Over the past few days, we have received a lot of letters and calls regarding a certain pop group by the name of the three... What's the matter? Go on. I can't, I can't. What do you mean, I can't? I can't. Look, there's words. Read them. Forgotten how to read? All right, all right, I'll do it. <clears throat> a certain pop group by the name of the three Bs. Ah! What happened? What happened? You mentioned their favourite pop group. Who? The three Bs? Ah! You only have to mention their name and they go totally stupid. Last month it was Bross, the month before that we had Brother Beyond, and now we've got the three B. Ah! Sorry, oh, oh, this is screaming. It's all right, it's all right. It's apparently because I just mentioned the three Bs. Ah! Not you two. Of course not, silly girls. Yes, well, obviously, if we are going to continue with this meeting, from now on I'm going to have to refer to the aforementioned pop group as the three, um... Sausages. Now, it may interest you two to know that your little heartthrobs, the three sausages, have upset an awful lot of their fans by cancelling a concert that was due to take place this very night. Oh, what do you say to that? No. Look, they must have had a really good reason, OK? They'd no. never cancel unless they had a really good reason. Mm. Yeah, a really, really, really good reason. Mm. Yes, like they'd run out of hair mousse or something. Yes. Jealous! <laughs> Jealous of that lot? He must be joking. They're useless. They don't even play their own instruments. Yeah, what, they what? don't even play their own instruments. Call themselves musicians, eh? Yeah. Dear, oh dear. That would never happen in my day, you know. Nah, we had real musicians then. You never have caught somebody like dribbling Willy Wonkins letting anyone play his instrument. Nobody would want to, not after he dribbled all over it. He couldn't help it. Just couldn't get the dentures in those days. Anyway, 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 we owe it to their broken-hearted fans to sort this one out. Right? You're at Absolutely right. Jinx and I will get over there right away and sort them out. Whipped we, Jinx. Absolutely. No, 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 just a minute, just a minute. No. When I say we, what I actually mean is us, us boys. Boys? Well, all right, two boys and a middle-aged man. <laughs> well, all right, an ageing man. Oh. All right, an old man. Oh. All right, a walking corpse. That's better. Oh, thank you. <laughs> anyway, what I mean is uh, anyone except you girlies, whom I'm afraid might be just a little, little bit teensy weensy too emotionally involved to deal with this one. What? That's right, so you two can get out on the street and test the range of the new communication okay. system. Here you go. I don't believe this. What you're saying is that Jinx and I would be unprofessional enough to let our emotions interfere with our work. Well, that's yeah, rather long and short, that yes. That is the most insulting thing I have ever heard in my entire life. It's outrageous. Is it? Yes, let's see now. Three bees. Ah! Three bees. Three bees. Ah! 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 Oh, 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 oh.